15 years ago. We sat down with Francis Sealing and the Cuttons and that. And at the same time, we had a bit of history to the club to go to the wall, which is that called the two murals. The one in the east wall here, which is the left hand side, that's a map of Clyde down at Glasgow Green, where they call Flesher's Hall. That's where we had our first football park down at Glasgow Green. Now, the rows are on the front, the Clyde are on the front, and uh, you know that, as well as the brothers and friends. Now, the McNeil brothers are part of the rowing club, the Tory Farrow Rangers football club. So the new brothers are kept things off as a football club. But the building you see there, that was the building in the old Hyper's Park. Uh, probably on the DVD, sorry, because this took me up the park was. First football, the late Ray Boy Royal. The RFC class you probably seen down at the main door as you come in. <coughs> football, again, the late Ray David Cooper. Then a few of the main stand as it is today. And the corner of the small part of the Hyper's area, again, as it stands today. On the west wall, left hand side is our class managers. Centre, past chairman, and the right hand side a selection of past captains. The latest, uh, once you've added two of them all, was the two arches there on the left, uh, the three managers, Mr. McLeaf, Paul, and Brennan Walter Smith, and the right hand side was Barry Ferguson. Yeah. Now, the artist had done most of you in the film called Senga Murray, which you can see she's very, very talented. The girl. When you look at any of these guys, it's not, it could be Walter Smith, it's like, and maybe it has, you know, it's. I'm going to throw you a photograph of Rachel Payton. Very, very talented. It took about two and a half years to complete both of yours. I'm not allowed any of those energy. This was used quite extensively during a week for like some business week, seven hours. Here's on weddings and Saturdays. Not as wide in this room. So it's all over the empty, as I say. I'm saying that some sunnies on the tours. There's a scaffold where you can see a paper there. I say it's very, very, very talented. So we'll be leaving from here in a couple of minutes, folks, into this door here. This is the nice upstairs manager's office. Uh, there's a small park that's built, the players and staff are totally the most different wide doors. They only come here in match days. And on match days, the office is used by a chairman. Whoever it is, I'm going to get a museum in the middle. We keep the museum piece now, but we'll give you a quick look at it. Please look at it. Twenty supporters, that's in here, go for it. Maybe a couple of minutes. You've got the floor, I said, folks. Quite happy. Yeah, I think I'm going to tell the phone. <laughs> You'll see with the padlock on it. I think some of the players will have phone in these chat lights, which is a bit of a long one. Get the bulbs cut. Not that it's not telling by the way. That's a pretty new one. So, maybe I'll be ready to take the bulbs with. Uh, hold our hat there, as you can see, he's walking thick. Uh, now, you obviously notice the Hall of Fame board coming up the stairs. When a player gets nominated down to the Hall of Fame board, that's what the player gets. He gets one of these busts. Then we want a quick photograph of the manager's chair. Go for it. I'm not shy. Oh, <laughs> the director's box. That is a Celtic end, so we know they're legion too. We've talked about that, Bobby. There's only one seat that's really sort of booked, if you want to call that. Is that seat? No, that's the chairman's seat. Whoever he may be, that one, yeah, but aye. That's the chairman's seat. They sign a register from Team Coffee before the game, then they come up to the gantry before the kick-off time off, so that's where all your press are held. The commentators, the, uh, radio, uh, radio reporters, you get your TV camera on the thing with them, but most of the film is done from up here, it's suspended to the club deck, that's where most of the film is done from. Uh, half time, the press was supplied with pies, bottle, tea, and coffee at half time on the gantry. And at full time, they go back down to the media room for the after match press, press conference. And again, they get tea, coffee, and a couple of wee swallows after the game. So we'll look after the press. <coughs> Don't look after us at times, we enough, but it's going to be nice to them. You can exit 12 in the garden stand there, folks, up in the back of the middle window, where you see what? That's the Rangers restaurant. Has anyone tried it? Nobody? Shocking. <laughs> you need the money, come on. <laughs> no, if you've not tried it, honestly, it's worth a visit. It's a first class restaurant. Use it anyway, it's open seven days a week. I do it at the cavalry on a Sunday. It's very, very popular. No, honestly, I'm not just trying to push it, but have a go. Any special occasion coming up, phone and pre book it, see, because it is very popular. The window's got to be fun, obviously. And like the directors, they've got a full hot uh, and cold buffet. They have that before the game, they've got their bath before the game, obviously. 
you go out and get a paddy seat so you'll be able to watch your first half. Come back in at half time, like the director, for five cakes, biscuits, tea, coffee, no bar at half time. And then at full time, they're going to call back an hour after the game. There's another week after the game. Now, like, we've got a lot of corporate areas in Ibrox. This is not so much a corporate area. The people in here are actually Rangers fans. Guaranteed 98% of Rangers fans. Like your corporate, I'm not the kind of corporate guest by the way, but I'm just here for a meal because that's the end of a swally. I don't know what to do. You get architects, accountants, I'm not decrying the kind of them. But hey, these guys are 100% Rangers fans. No, this is a. Uh, Thanks. YouTube. So they've donated their caps to Rangers. Oh, it's a cracker. Remember we saw Eck with that in Helicopter Sunday? No. Uh, Retro the Cup winners cut one in Barcelona in 1972. Uh, this cup here with the football at an angle is the Victory Cup. I was played just after the war. We say about the end of the war. The uh, Rangers behind the Rangers have C1, so we can keep the, the Victory Cup. At the front, the collection of Richard, uh, well, Richard Goff, she's in that cabinet. Bob McPhail's medals are 36 in total, all gold, from all levels of football. Now, Bob was the old inside forward type guy many years ago, and he was a leading goal scorer at Ibrox. Again for a long time, until Justin McCoyce ball, he's now the leading Rangers goal scorer. And one of the oldest trophies in Ibrox, this little goblet in the front here, and it's not a football trophy, it was won by Moses McNeil, one of our founder members, he won it for a half mile race. So I, I, I called it the running trophy, but it's, it's one of the oldest in Ibrox, date back to the late 1800s. This cabin over here, a couple of things, the two, the two golden boots, when they, this voice and the son. Most goals in Scotland. Uh, this is one of Ali's golden boots. So you probably know a player that scores most goals in Europe, and he gets a golden boot. Of course, he won it two years in a row. 
So we have to manage with the other part is that we can do that. And things like an operator of the slides head up there. In 1959, this pallet was still being funded, but what had been invited to read the start of the selection, but to own the lights, they were selected, won the game, and at the end of the game, they just did the head, I don't know what the Celtic was. What was the deal? This is all here, folks. Of course, Mr. Stroud, one of our greatest other Rangers managers, he was the hottest in a 30 total year here at Ireland. Then that guy, there were 18 titles, 10 Scottish Cups, 2 League Cups. And in fact, he had the other, you may remember the Glasgow Cup, the Glasgow Charity Cup. He won numerous actors, not a many one, but he won exaggerated hundreds of them. He was very, very successful in the office. He flashed all these championship flags. We're still getting his foot through to the moment, as you can see. And below Mr. Street, you'll see there's a bike there, and you might put the hex a bike there in the trophy room. Because I said a minute ago, various clubs, Gert, Bazis, Rubber, uh, Salvers, French team, St. Etienne, we played them in 1975. And that was the Gert they brought from St. Etienne. Uh, one of the directors of St. Etienne Football Club is also a director of that bike company. So he thought it's something different, so they got a bike. <laughs> She's not been used much at all. But the last time was used my coins last week, driving licenses. On your bike coins there. Very bad quality of it. This can't be a game, folks. I know I'll speak for myself. I don't know.
Nice guys and gals, right? This week I hit you in the car quick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.